Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to set up the WPLMS on a regular WordPress theme. So first we are going to install a theme and for this demo, we are going to install Astra, which is the most popular free WordPress theme. So once we have Astra active, we can go to the plugins and this is a clean WordPress site with just Astra installed. And we can simply go to plugins, add new and install the plugin BuddyPress. Then we can install the plugin WooCommerce. So WooCommerce is only required if you want to sell courses in your site. So once you have WooCommerce installed, we can now go to the documentation of WPLMS that is docs.wplms.io and download the plugins. So the plugins which are required for uh, running a WPLMS site are BuddyPress, WPLMS plugin and YBP plugin which is the PWA framework and you can see the download link so we can directly copy the download link and change this xxx in the link to with your WPLMS theme purchase code and we can paste it in the browser and download the plugin after downloading these two plugins so all the other remaining plugins are optional and you can also download and install them so here we have downloaded these two plugins and now we are going to install them in the plugins add new section so after installing and activating the ybp plugin we should see a notification for the setup wizard but before we uh, continue with the setup wizard we can activate the wplms plugin so once we have both wplms and ybp plugin active you should see a installation setup wizard notification on top and a notice for the WPLMS not active and there are WPLMS email templates which we can migrate to into BuddyPress. Now to remove now we need to add the WPLMS theme purchase code to remove this notice. So here we can go to the YPP plugin updates and paste in the WPLMS theme purchase code and same we need to do in the WPLMS plugin updates. Now once we have the updates active, the notice is no longer there. Now we recommend you to install the element element or page builder plugin. Although you can use WPLMS theme with Gutenberg. So here we are activating the element or website builder. So once you have activated the element or website builder, then we can start the setup wizard for the YPP. And here we can begin the setup and you can activate the features that you want in your site. So because this is a progressive web app framework, it does not put any additional load if you enable all the features or just enable few features. The load on your site is same. And here we are going to install all the directory and the layouts. And disable the public activities. So once we have done that, it should take us to a page which looks like this now back to the WP admin screen here we can go to the YBP settings section and here you can enable the global login screen or the BuddyPress single page so we recommend using the BuddyPress single page option for that we go to the pages add new And we can create a page a 
and add these two short codes and set the page template as element or canvas and then publish now we set this page as the body press single page which means the entire body press will work on this page and you can enable the remaining uh, settings you can synchronize the YBP with WordPress and you can change the login message screen terms etc and save the YBP settings when we save this now we go to the appearance menu section and here we have the logged in drop down menu and the profile menu and the Astra theme has this primary menu which we need to configure so we can create a new menu and we can add the links to this so you can enable the body press member and the CSS classes so here we can add app and for login we can create a custom link and add the link here we can also add the class so that this particular link acts as the login trigger and set this as the primary menu now when we visit our site here you can see our login is working and here we are looking at the settings notifications and when we click on them it takes us to the progressive web app page and here we have all the sections which are appearing and we can create a new course so i'll just quickly create a new course and then we'll and here we can publish this course so here we have the course published we can now view the course from the manage course and the direct link so here is our course and here is our curriculum so if you have seen our other videos you can edit this whole entire template using Elementor and let's pursue this course let's see how this works when we click on start course it takes us to the PWA screen and here we have the course and we can see the curriculum and we can pursue the course so here we have the quiz and you can so all the functionality is working and you can complete the course and post some reviews and here we have finished our first course and the ratings appear on the uh, on the screen and if you see the members directory now here we have the profile and as the user fills out the profile so here as the user fills in the profile the value gets updated in the profile so here we can see our course directory did not get import so if your course directory did not import properly we can create a course directories simply by creating a page and edit that page with elementor and here we can drag the course directory widget and you can set the card style 
and set other things as covered in our previous videos so this is our course directory and this is the course card and users can you can create a paid course as well so from create courses you can create a paid course so let's just create a paid course so we go to manage courses and here we can edit the course and in the accessibility we can set a price for this course so now we have set a price for this course and publish this course so because I want to test we are going to remove ourselves from this course and now when we view this course you can see we get the price and any user who clicks on take this course goes to the uh, product page and from here he can add the course to the cart and proceed to the checkout so here we can place the order so the order has been placed for the test course and the administrator can mark the order as complete if it's a manual order so when the order is completed when you visit the course you can see that we get the start course and you can pursue this course again so that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching